I'm Petronella. Um, I'm working with HHT Ireland here in Portugal, and with me is Adrian Brady. Hi, I'm Adrian Brady. I'm a consultant interventional radiologist in Mercy University Hospital in Cork, and I'm medical director of the Irish National HHT Centre. So, we have been attending a conference here, and I have some questions prepared for Dr. Brady. So, to start at the top, we've had numerous poster presentations throughout the days here on so, so, so many topics. But the one that may be of, of particular interest was one on safety and effic efficacy of the left atrial appendage closure for stroke protection and atrial fibrillation in HHT. So I wanted to ask Dr. Brady, is he familiar with this and is it available in Ireland? And in this particular presentation it was suggested that it may be possible to do this at the same time as doing a resection of a pulmonary AVM. So, um, do you believe this is possible? Um, well, a couple of things about that. Firstly, left atrial appendage closure would only really be of value to people who have a PAV, well, in the HHT context, who have a, who have a PAVM and are in atrial fibrillation and have an atrial appendage with lots of thrombus within it because that's a, a dangerous likely source of, of emboli. So we're talking about a very small subset of people here. By no means would this apply to most people with HHT, it wouldn't apply to most people with PAVMs. Uh, yes, it is available in Ireland. In fact, uh, I saw a chest x-ray only on Tuesday, I think, with, with the left atrial closure clip inside you. So yes, it does happen. It, it happens for lots of other patients as well, who have nothing to do with HHT. It's a, a, basically a subset of people with certain cardiological problems. So yes, it's available. Yeah, we would know about it, of course, but it's not something that happens or would apply to the HHT world all that often. And if somebody was in atrial fibrillation with uh, lots of thrombus within their atrial appendage, regardless of whether they're HHT or not, I'm sure the cardiologist would be considering it with the patient. Um, the, the last question you asked Pet Petronella was about whether this could be done at the time of resection of PAVMs. Yeah, it could, because obviously that would involve surgery on the chest, but remember the vast majority of PAVMs we don't resect, we embolize. If you resect them you're losing a bit of a normal lung and you don't want to do that, so resection would be only utilized in very rare circumstances for PAVMs. Thank you.